some neighboring cottages. Back to James's fields. Here we see him spraying potatoes for blight, assisting as Hubert McGarvey, Francis's nephew. just doesn't seem interested in attention. Onward to Boyce's cottage row in Priestla and four of sisters Mary's children, Tony, Willie, Joe and Mary. To the front of Boyce's cottage where the children are joined by elder brother James. Francis Beckons brother-in-law Johnny to come into the shot. A brand new Screesla National School ready for its first pupils a month later. This is Creasla Main Street looking much the same as now. This is Creasla's first garage owned by the Freel brothers now closed. And here Jimmy spots some white turkeys. This section sees a visit to an unidentified household. And this is here with a rare appearance from cameraman Jimmy. Another young boy, John, tries to stop a cow from eating cabbages. That's of course before posing with the gang. And here we have a final view of voices from the rear with all available family members out for the cameraman. And here is a north view from Boyce's yard. Here is Jimmy's diverse cousin, Con Hagney. Francis in Kildara. Con's two daughters, Agnes and Margaret, on the right. And here we have everyone in front of the house now, including Con's wife as the dog steals the show. This is Jimmy's father's birthplace in Kildara.
here we see the foot of a clouded muckish mountain from Kildare. <coughs> Isla Fair Day was held on the 10th of each month, unless it was on a Sunday. It was a social occasion. More than such as a social occasion, there was plenty of business done. Here we see Dan de Vincent looking on. <coughs> this is the Mandy's household in Chrysler, beside what is now McNulty's pub. The tea house. It was a very busy spot on fair days. Not just livestock for sale, the standings as they were called. <laughs> 